May 23, 2014, this female boxer, five months old, came to Topaya Vets with a small swelling just above the eyes, around this spot. This spot. And uh, after that, Dr. Daniel anesthetized him and and uh, open up to check for the cause of the swelling like foreign body penetration causing a big swelling so that area th that is the area he incised and uh, there was a big swelling and so he, he drained off the fluid more like a cystic fluid and uh, after they stitch up the skin. So yesterday the owner came and as you can see in the other video, the swelling was gigantic. Now what's the cause of it? What's the solution? Now, what I did was to sedate the dog and uh, take out the stitches and uh, since the wound has not closed properly, all the fluid, the blood came out more than 200 ml. And uh, I stitch up continuous stitch sutures. The incised area which De Daniel had uh, cut to relieve the, the fluid, it was more like cystic area which he cut and uh, I presume that area is where the bleeding comes from because that area is involves the muscles so I stitch up that area using continuous suture and after that I stitch up the skin after that I stitch up the skin uh, using horizontal mattress suture which of course makes it look quite ugly so this, this, this one was done about, about uh, 16 hours ago. Now, I did apply a bandage, a firm bandage, to uh, across a figure eight, but the bandage has slipped off overnight. So, you can see a bit of hematoma again, there a bit of swelling. And uh, so, we, I will try and apply it again let's prevent any more swelling otherwise it will be there will be another fish hematoma and and the owner won't be happy now what happened in in this case is that the owner wanted to talk back so dr daniel uh stitch up and then the dog went home immediately so he was running around and pre i presume that's where more bleeding occurred until the whole thing was swollen like a big half a mango size if you see the other video and uh, so the best is not to let the dog go home and uh, let it rest let it rest so as to avoid bleeding and hematoma formation also the after draining the cyst it's better to to, uh, on hindsight, hindsight is always easy to talk, to stitch up that uh, incised cyst which probably involves the muscles as well because that area has a lot of blood vessels. So now I'm going to try to, there's a bit of hematoma here but nothing of the size and this side, this side is okay, there's not much, nothing here and uh, it's, the dog is not allowed to run around and so I'm trying to bandage again the figure 8 again and then uh, so I have to stop any more hematoma formation from the muscle, muscles, incised muscle but I've already stitched up the 